What's up everybody, I'm Zach Dean 9 here bringing another amazing video, and this video is going to be me showing you uh, how to get to the headquarters and uh, everything about it on uh, Call of Duty World War II. Uh, so this is uh, interesting, you just, uh, from the main menu, you just go to multiplayer, and then you hit your start button on the controller, whatever that is for Xbox or PS4, and you walk up. And now uh, there's plenty of people here, like this guy just got a supply drop, and I did not get to see him drop it. But I definitely got to see what he had right there, and it was pretty interesting. You can get to see everything they get, like, ooh, a rare thing. But first things first, let's walk up here, grab that mail. You gotta head, get there and uh, grab your payroll, grab any skins, double XP, basically whatever you can grab right there from the mail. Then you walk right up here, go up to Major Howard, get your available orders. It's kind of like getting the uh, contracts, but it's not exactly that because they do actually have the contracts. But it gives you nice rewards like that, like maybe even supply drops. But uh, anyways, we're gonna go up here to the Quartermaster. Here is where you can get your contracts. Just like in Black Ops, there was a good old time where you could uh, try to get a contract right here, ask for it, and then if you don't complete it, you screwed yourself in that time period. But you gotta do whatever you gotta do. So it's pretty interesting. I do like the contracts being back in this Call of Duty. It's really bringing back the nostalgia. So anyways, you come through, you come to the left, and they've added a really interesting thing again. They added theater mode. It's not exactly like theater mode like you would think so, but it is an interesting, uh, like, Bit way of doing it of theater mode. But basically what it is is it's really nice, it looks really cool, you get to sit down just like old school World War II shit. You get to sit down, you press X on it, and it sends you to this theater right here where you can actually watch the MOG players and other like uh, current events and things like that, and live events on demand on MOG right there on Call of Duty. So it's really interesting, really excited to actually just pull up the game and not have to like go to the side or anything, I can just play it like on the side or like you know like while waiting. So it's pretty dope. So you just gotta keep going down here. This map is actually rather huge. Like right here <clears throat> is where you can make your emblems and get like uploaded emblems from right there. So I ha I didn't really go into it that much, but I just like showed you to get there. So if you ever want to create some emblems and maybe get download them, you just go there. So right here is gonna be the uh, the score streaks right here. It's a really cool thing. It's like a score streaks training center, and I thought it was really cool to record it. So like basically you're in this little watchtower right here. And you get to choose whatever score streaks in the game, and you get to test it out before even going into the match. Which I always thought is that's actually awesome. Like right here, I'm gonna test out the Molotov cocktail. Like it's really dope because like it's normally when you get, like you put on a kill streak, right? I don't know if it's good or not. You know, it's just sitting there going, I don't know. I mean, you know, you have to like wait for it. You have to actually get it in the game, and then you actually have to like try to test it out, and then you find out that it's not good, and then you're stuck with it with that whole game. So you're like, damn. And then you gotta change it again right after. And then sometimes you forget about it because you're just you know doing a random thing. And it just comes up. So I'm really happy they installed this uh, into this Call of Duty. This is a really cool thing. It's just an easy thing on the side where you can just test out all these cool scroll streaks like I'm doing right now. Start testing out the care package and everything like that. It's pretty dope. I do actually do like it. Unfortunately, I should put the care package maybe closer. I probably can't get grab that in there. But that's basically what it does. This is the bombing run, which I thought was really cool. I only got to test this once out in the beta, so and I did awful right here, and I was like, nah. No, I can't do that. That was that was a terrible. I gotta I gotta try that again. Cause you gotta get like the whole, everyone on the map or else it doesn't count, right? It's like first or last freaking body style. So there we go. Look at that. Look at that now. That's what I'm talking about. So you know, no no rookie today. Okay, super kill, okay? Oh man. So let's get that glide bomber. Uh I'm, this is actually rather hard to control. I don't know, like after you uh first throw it. You gotta like really get into it and like literally I just barely found a spot to get all four so I was pretty excited. Not sure why they have you test out the flamethrower here. One, because I just killed everyone on the map, but it's kind of cool to like just shoot it around and stuff. I guess it is a score streak so they're gonna let you test out everything, but you can't even reach them unless you let them get like real close I bet. Like I don't know, I mean I'm just wondering. So uh, there's the mortar strikes right here, which uh, by the way these things are rather loud. I'm not gonna lie. So I, I forgot. I've never even used the mortar strikes. I never got the chance to use a lot of these score streaks in the actual beta. So playing this in like like now is like dope as hell, man. This is like the like, really cool. Artillery barrage is insane, bro. This thing just destroys the whole map. It's like I should have backed up for this one. Oh my gosh. It just keeps shooting down everything. And you got the black guns ready, yo. That's right, it just never ends at this point. All these are really dope. I really do like these things, and um, honestly, like the emergency airdrop, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on this emergency airdrop thing. Like, that's so cool to have this back. They're like literally combining all the cool stuff 
from all the other Call of Duties and bringing them into this old Call of Duty because there it's all or nothing for this Call of Duty. I feel so bad because Call of Duty's been dying recently and uh, this is their comeback. Everyone knows this. If they don't do well in this Call of Duty, they're gonna die. And they're slow. They've been slowly dying the last. Was like this is the one where I was like, oh my god, I almost died, bro. <laughs> I had to back up and then. Literally, it's so loud right here because I'm, call I'm calling in the paratroopers right there just to show you right there. And uh, he's going through. It's so fucking loud. Like, like all the fucking hit markers. I, I should have really turned that down, honestly, low key. So, real talk. And then there's the last one where you get the, the turret gunner, which is pretty dope. I really do like this. Like, I'm just I'm just really excited for this Call of Duty. Every everyone knows that this is the all or nothing Call of Duty for this. And we're gonna we're gonna find out if uh, it saves them i hope so because i've been a big fan of call of duty ever since like you know the og call of duties i love call of duty 4 and i will continue to buy it every single year you know as long as they keep making them i mean they they put out some eh call of duties i'll admit but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so this score streak oh my gosh i love this score streak so much i was sitting here just literally in the base before they were even spawning just holding RT going, da, 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 destroying them, bro. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. Oh, crap, I missed that. Oops, uh, that was awkward. That's a rookie mistake number one right there, Jesus. So, yeah, after you put out that, it spawns you back in the main, like in the, in the beginning ish, you want to call it. And I had to make this run all the way back. It really, it really, made, it really made me mad. I'm not gonna lie, like that. I was like, oh man, I was all the way back there. And then once you put it, you have to run all the way back. So, I don't know about that part. Maybe I feel like maybe once you put it, you should spawn back where you were, you know? But that's just me. But, yeah, and this is, uh, so this is the cool thing right here. Uh, if you ever need to go to the Quartermaster and get your, uh, contracts, you don't have to run to her. You can actually just, uh, go to your supply, like, uh, hit your supply drop, which is RT, in my opinion. And also, this is the coolest thing ever right here. So you can, like, come up here, you can commend a player, and uh, you can uh, challenge him to a shootout match. Like, I, I know Calm just uh, put up a video about that shootout, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. It's a 1v1, like, sniper and stuff. It's, it's pretty dope. This Call, this Call of Duty has put so much into this. Like, into this. Like, it's, I'm so excited, man. And this is where you go for the prestige right here. You come through. You, and they, they told me, like, yo, you're not good enough. Because, you know, I, I barely even played multiplayer. I think we're, like, level 3 or something like that. So that's where you go to Prestige right there. Pretty dope. I'm sure there's, like, a VIP section right here. This is the Gunsmith, bro. This is where you can Prestige your weapons and get everything, like, a nice, like, paint job and things like that. So they've really added a lot. They've really added a lot. And this is where the leaderboards, where you can see all the crazy, uh, like, the Domination leaderboard, the Headquarters leaderboards, War, like, just ever, all the leaderboards right there are pretty dope. And this is a little cool thing on the side. So they decided all the Activision games, like all the old school ones, they added it in this game. So you can literally play all these old school Activision games in Call of Duty. They're just outdoing themselves. Like every time I'm like, no, you can't get any cooler. You're like, oh, I could play an old Call of Duty? Dope. Well, that's going to be it for this Call of Duty uh, video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Zach D9. Have a wonderful night. Deuces!